Hello and welcome, it's Jennifer here at JP Smith and we're about to do my first ever acrylic pour. I have no expectations of success here other than the fact that I just see so many people trying this with so many different um, recipes that all seem to work or not for others and so I'm going to start with the real basics. For now I just wanted to Monday morning and I wanted to try a pour. So I have already pre-mixed my colours. I've um, gone with the really old folk art wicker white that I have from when Noah was on the ark. I have a relatively new Americana in purple rain, um, Americana in primary yellow and an even older folk art metallic aquamarine. Um, and by old, these don't have dates on them, but I would say that's at least, in fact I know that's at least 15 <laughs> years old. And I have multi-purpose wood glue, which in Australia would be PVA, in America would be Elmer's glue. It's a very basic, some countries it's white glue. So in here I have one part um, paint, two parts glue, and just enough water to make it get the right consistency. All right, we're actually going to pour them into the white cup because we don't have a lot of paint here and I'm pretty sure that pouring, we have such little cups here and lots and lots of little bits of colour is going to come out in mud. So let's just pour all the green in, all the yellow in, all the purple in. way too runny I suspect. Just take this paint from the last pour just to give my corners some colour. And because paint on the canvas pulls, it pulls the paint really nicely on the canvas. See, I don't want to lose all of this. How do I do this? I know most people use gloves for this, but I can't feel what I'm doing with gloves. I'm going to leave that exactly as is. Let's see what happens as it dries. <laughs> okay, so it's very hard to get a photo because of all the reflection. So I thought I would video it. This is a six by six tile. It is still wet. We don't know how it's going to dry. 